What is good in your family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one only Neo stock and what you should be looking after for the future. I'm also going to break down why tomorrow is going to be an absolutely massive day for the markets. We do have two days coming up that are going to be huge, but particularly tomorrow is going to be a big day because it is the last full day before the FOMC meeting. I want to talk about how this may end up affecting Neo's share price because when the FOMC meeting comes, there are going to be big changes made to the market. We're going to find out what the rate hike is. And I want to talk about why this is going to be so big and why tomorrow could be a big day now before i break anything down before i get into any more details i do have to mention a couple of things before starting Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Don't take any of this as financial advice whatsoever. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. And it only benefits me and benefits the entire Neo community as a whole. And the last thing is, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account, you're guaranteed up to 12 free stocks, each worth up to $2,000. And the best part is, you could always sell these 12 free stocks for cash and use that cash to buy some Neo shares for free it's a limited time offer the offer ends in just 11 days so please check it out before they run out with that out of the way let's get on with the video so neo right now made a pretty decent move and this actually surprised me as well a lot of people were looking at the spy and we were actually very anxious about the fomc meeting but the thing is spy was very oversold and the spy decided to get a lot of volume coming in for today and we actually got a very nice push into the end of the day and the market is starting to rally now the thing about this move is we can't become too comfortable just yet i was a lot more bullish as i did see the market kind of like pushing up as we approach the midterm elections which is november of the year but as of right now for the next few days i'm I mean, right now the market looks a little bit more bullish than bearish, but I do anticipate a little bit of chop to really start to come in tomorrow because FOMC is starting. I want to talk about why this is going to be big. So looking at SPY, I'm in a pretty crazy day if you guys were watching. Big push into open, followed by a lot of chop for a couple of hours. Then all of a sudden, the last hour comes and SPY just rallies like crazy. And it does look like it really wants to fill this gap up here. So that could be a nice move for NEO. NEO could actually push up a bit. But there is something you have to consider about this right now. Neo also has this gap up here. I could see Neo actually go all the way back up to the 21s. But what you have to consider is what's happening in the markets. And September 20th is going to be the start of the FOMC meeting. The 21st is going to be the bigger, I'm sorry, the bigger day because we have the right hike decision to be made. So for tomorrow, right here, we actually have many people actually coming up they're going to be talking about the markets we're going to see lots of fed officials make big announcements and the market is going to finally start to price in what we want to do so right now the market hasn't fully priced in 100 basis points we fully priced in 75 basis points but not 100 for the rate hike so what we do last minute is going to be determined tomorrow is the market going to take a big hit and start to like really price this in <coughs> excuse me or are we just going to hold up and just not do much, right? Because it seems like Jerome Powell is most likely not going to give us 100 basis points if the market does not fully price everything in. If you look at the data right now, we could see we are expecting a big rate hike to come. But but if you look at this, a lot of articles are saying that the Fed is likely going to refrain from a 100 basis point hike because the first thing is the market hasn't fully priced that in. And it looks like the market was more ready for 75 basis points. The second thing is, if he does do that, what effect is this going to have on the economy? It's going to lead to a lot of panic, lots of fear. And considering that we're very close to an election, I find it quite unlikely, in my honest opinion. Now, is it possible for us to get 100? Yes. Is it likely? Not necessarily. I think it's very unlikely. But what should you be prepared for? If we get 75 basis points, if Powell announces the federal funds rate is going to be going up by 75 basis points, and once again, he's making this decision on Wednesday, right? Early on Wednesday when the market's open. So this is important because when he makes this decision, if we get 75, the market has potential to rally. The market might push up. Neo might start pushing up if he says 75 because we already priced that in. But if Powell comes out and he ends up saying it, it's going to be 100 basis points, I would anticipate shop, maybe some downside for the markets initially. We could actually see a big drop, all right? We'll have to wait and see. But like I said before, we're most likely going to get 75 in my opinion. The market is not necessarily ready for 100 just yet. And it really depends on Powell what he really wants to do. So looking at the data on Neo, 
Right now, NEO is holding up pretty well. We made a pretty decent move. We did see an uptrend on the price pairs ratio, and we are seeing this correlation between SPY and NEO. As you guys know, NEO was red on Friday, just as SPY was. SPY pushed up, the overall market did, so did NASDAQ, and NEO got dragged up as well with it. So you, you guys can see how there's both a mix of manipulation and randomness that really helped NEO push to the upside. And right now, a lot of big analysts are still giving NEO lots of buy ratings. So they are pretty bullish for the short term. I personally am very bullish for the month of October. I think the markets are going to make a nice move. Until we get to October, though, for the next couple of days, it really depends on FOMC. So what's most likely going to happen tomorrow, guys? Looking at this, SPY looks like it wants to fill this gap, like I said. We might push up a bit, but after that, I anticipate even more chop. Maybe some Fed officials say something the market doesn't want to hear. We could see some like big drops out of nowhere, then a big push up. I expect lots of volatility, lots of chop. And into close, I think power hour is going to be crazy. It's the last power hour before the big rate hike decision is going to be made. Maybe the market pushes down very hard. Maybe we just don't care because they think it's very unlikely for Powell to be that aggressive and it just starts to rally. We don't truly know. It's one of those things we have to wait and see. It depends on how the market reacts. It depends on what is said. So these changes in the economy, these changes in the way markets are moving, it will have an effect on NEO. NEO, in turn, in my opinion, I could I could really see it fill this gap up here. Maybe tomorrow it fills the gap up here, goes to like 21.5. But after that, I mean, like I said, probably we're going to see lots of chop, crazy price action. Power hour is going to be crazy tomorrow. Please be ready. Do what you have to do. And remember, tomorrow is the last full day before the right hike decision is going to be made. On the 21st, when the decision comes, it's going to affect not just our economy, not just other economies, but the markets, the everyday lives of people on a daily basis. It's going to be big. The feelings, the sentiment, and the emotions are all going to be in play here. So do what you have to do. Remain calm, cool, and collected, and look at support and resistance levels. Just to make this clear, if Neil pushes up tomorrow, we have resistance at 21.5. Break past that, 22 is on the table. Break past that, then 22.7 to 22.75, right? Now, if Neil comes down, let's just say Neil pushes up, fills the gap, it comes down. 20.9 is a key level like this where this 200 EMA is. If we break below that, all right? If we break below 21, it could come all the way down to 20.2. If Neo doesn't hold that, it could come all the way down to 19.5. Those are key support zones. So watch support and resistance. Technical indicators may not be as helpful for the next like day or two because it's dependent on news, but for the macro long term. I'm still a lot more bullish because on the daily, this is when we could actually use these more efficiently. You'll notice when you look at NEO on the daily chart, we are currently kind of like hovering right under the 200 uh, EMA. We break above this, it's going to be a big bullish sign for the markets. And I do think NEO has the potential to do this going into the month of October. With that said and done, thank you all for listening. Remain calm, cool, and collected. Be ready for tomorrow. It's going to be the last full day before the big rate hike decision is made. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Neo to the moon because the long-term future is bright. And peace out.